On March 27, 1998, the FDA approved the first oral medication for the treatment of male sexual impotence, Viagra. From there, industries around the world began research to launch new medications, and in November 2003, Tadalafil, commercially known as Cialis, emerged, earning the nickname Weekend Pill due to its duration of effect. But what is the best way to take it? 5 milliliters every day? Or 20 milliliters before intercourse? Is there any method that is better than the other? Hello, I am Dr. Tiago, and I am a urologist here in Sao Paulo. Tadalafil is a medication that inhibits an enzyme in our body called 5-phosphodiesterase. The mechanism of action is exactly the same as that of Viagra and Levitra, the other medications we have, for erectile dysfunction. But what does phosphodiesterase have to do with erection? Inside the penis, there is like a competition between nitric oxide and phosphodiesterase. Nitric oxide releases a substance called cyclic GMP, which is responsible for dilating blood vessels, increasing blood flow. And the phosphodiesterase goes in and removes this cyclic GMP, causing vasoconstriction, reducing blood flow to the penis. Most of the time, phosphodiesterase wins this competition. After all, the state of a flaccid penis is much more common than that of an erect one. When there is a stimulus and excitation, the body increases the amount of nitric oxide inside the penis, and this allows nitric oxide to win the competition, resulting in an erection. Where does Tadalafil fit into this? Tadalafil goes in and inhibits the cause action of phosphodiesterase. So, Tadalafil facilitates the process of nitric oxide, thereby facilitating erection. Now that you understand the mechanism of action of Tadalafil, let's delve into the more peculiar characteristics of this drug. Tadalafil, when you take it, will reach its peak concentration in your body in about two hours, and its half-life is around 17 hours. What is half-life? It is the time that our body takes to reduce the concentration of the drug in our blood by half. That is why when you take a 20 mg Tadalafil, it can last up to 36 hours in our body. Every 17 hours it reduces by half. Therefore, doses of up to Nawai Maun are sufficient to cause an erection. That is why we recommend taking Tadalafil 20 mi every 2 or 3 days. Another very peculiar characteristic of Tadalafil is its longer duration of action and also the fact that it does not interact with food and alcohol. For Viagra to have a good effect and proper absorption, it is ideal to take it on an empty stomach one hour before intercourse and its effect lasts for only four hours. And we know that taking this type of medication on an empty stomach is more complex. After all, you're not going to take it in the morning right after you wake up. You will have to take it close to your sexual activity. And this can often interfere with the absorption of the medication. But what is the best way to take Tadalafil? 5 meaning e every day, 20 me only when having intercourse. We have both of these presentations at the pharmacy. First point, in the short term, in matters of effectiveness, in a relationship, what is that? When a person takes it, what is the percentage that this person can achieve an erection? Sufficient to achieve vaginal penetration. The effectiveness of both 5 mingraros taken daily and 20 mingraros taken on demand, which we refer to, is very similar. This is in the short term. When we look at the long term, it seems that the 5 mingraros taken daily has a slightly better effect on blood vessel function 
particularly in improving endothelial function, which is the inner part of the blood vessels in the penis that is responsible for releasing nitric oxide. So, in the long term, it does seem that 5 me tadalafil taken daily has a better effect. The data is still scarce for this type of statement, but there is indeed a direction in that sense. Agreed. Doctor, does that mean that taking it every day is always better than taking 20 mg sporadically? The 20 mg sporadically. Calm down. Every time we generalize, we end up taking the risk of being wrong. Taking Tadalafil, for example, may not make sense for someone who has a relationship with their spouse every 15 days. It might not be necessary to take 5 milliards of Tadalafil every day. If he takes 20 milliards only mm, during that period, it might be better for him. I really like the 5 milliards presentation. Why? Because it allows us to have greater flexibility precisely because of its prolonged effect. When we choose to undergo this treatment of 5 mega within 3 to 4 days, there is a stabilization of the concentration in our blood. So you are taking it and the body is eliminating it, you are taking it and our body is eliminating it. Since the elimination rate is low, it takes time. We can achieve a relatively short steady state dose, which is 3 or 4 days. Therefore, it is very worthwhile to individualize. What do you mean? For example, patients who have a mild degree of erectile dysfunction. He is able to have an erection, but he sometimes likes to improve his sexual potency a little. A 5 mg tablet taken on alternate days is sometimes enough for us to achieve an improvement in performance and enhancement of the erection without the need to take it every day. Another thing is that there are patients who say, Doctor, I only have relations on the weekends. What we sometimes advise is to start taking the 5 migron tadalafil on Wednesday. You start on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And by then, you already have good concentrations in the blood to have. The drug circulating at the time of the erection, eliminating the need to take a medication for an erection that medication one or two hours beforehand. Sometimes we know that many patients do not like to have this association, and they sometimes feel embarrassed to take the medication in front of the person. And sometimes he ends up having to choose this type of treatment, taking it on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, while he doesn't take it on Monday and Tuesday. Do you understand? Then the 5 mean tadalafil allows us much greater treatment flexibility. When I talk about taking it every day, many people have the question, Doctor, but doesn't this medication harm the heart? It is said that those who take this type of medication can have a heart attack or cardiovascular problems. This is completely a myth. Where does this myth come from? There is a single contraindication for taking both Tadalafil, Viagra, and Levitra, which is for patients who have already had a heart attack and are taking a medication called nitrate, commercially known as Isordio or Monocord. When you take Tadalafil while using Monocord or Isocord, you may experience a very abrupt drop in your blood pressure, which can lead to a deficiency in vascularization in the heart, potentially resulting in a heart attack. In general, why do reports of heart attacks occurring while taking Tadalafil, Viagra? or similar medications arise. You see, the main disease that causes erectile dysfunction in patients over 40, 50, and 60 years of age is arterial occlusion, a systemic disease that affects the entire body called atherosclerosis, which is the deposition of fat within the vessels. Atherosclerosis affects the penile vessel, which is much thinner than the cardiac vessel. The penile vessel has an average diameter of one millimeter, while the cardiac vessel has three. Therefore, it is the first to become clogged. If you block the penis, you cause erectile dysfunction. If you block the heart, 
it causes a heart attack. If you block the vessel in the head, it is commonly known as a stroke. Why does erectile dysfunction appear first? Because the vessel is thinner. In fact, there are studies showing that patients with erectile dysfunction have an increased chance of having a heart attack because the disease causing the problem is the same. It is the blockage of blood vessels. So, that person who is sedentary has atherosclerosis, has erectile dysfunction, and probably also has a small blockage in the coronary. However, this obstruction does not cause any issues in his daily life. Then he goes, takes Viagra, takes Tadalafil, takes these other medications, and he is able to achieve an erection. After that, he will have sexual intercourse. During sexual intercourse, there is an increase in cardiac workload as it is a form of light physical activity. With this increase in cardiac workload, that vessel which was partially obstructed is unable to deliver the blood that the heart needs. Then this person has a heart attack, but they did not have a heart attack because of the medication. They had a heart attack because of the sexual relationship. If that person tried to run two blocks, they would also have a heart attack. Do you understand? That is why patients who have heart diseases, patients who are sedentary, and those who have risk factors for atherosclerosis, such as obesity, sedentary lifestyle, smoking, diabetes, and high blood pressure. They should undergo this cardiac evaluation to determine if everything is fine with the coronary arteries and if they can engage in physical activity. Just like a patient who is 40 or 50 years old needs to undergo a cardiac evaluation to join a gym, if it has been a long time since he last engaged in physical activity, he also needs a cardiac evaluation to be able to take Tadalafil or Viagra to determine if his coronary vessel can handle sexual intercourse, not whether he can tolerate the medication. Right, so the medication does not cause problems for the heart if you have erectile dysfunction and need to take the medication, but you engage in physical activity, you can handle running. A very interesting measure we use to know if everything is fine is, can you climb two flights of stairs without stopping in between? If you can, everything is probably okay. But, again, I want to emphasize here, do not forget to have a cardiac evaluation because this is very important. Okay, erectile dysfunction is sometimes the first sign that a heart attack may be occurring, indicating a blockage in the blood vessel of your heart as well. Combined, then Tadalafil is, indeed, a very important medication, a great ally in the treatment of erectile dysfunction. We achieve many results, excellent results, with the use of the medication, both on demand and with daily use. I particularly prefer the daily doses precisely because of this flexibility and the long-term improvement in penile function and vascularization. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Below in the description, there is a link to my website where you can find various articles about health. Please share in the comments what type you use, what medication you take every day, if you take it on demand, if you have any side effects related to it, and I hope you enjoyed it.